Alright guys, today I've got a video on how to install Google Wallet on your Galaxy S3. Now this is running completely stock right now and what this is going to actually do is it's going to edit your bill prop to fake out Google Play into thinking that you can install Google Wallet basically. Um, so obviously before you do anything go ahead and go into your custom recovery and create an Android backup. This is super duper important. Okay. So with that prerequisite said, you're going to have to have root access for this to function. So what you're going to download is actually this file. So I'm going to go to my, my, my uh, Dropbox right here. I'm sorry, this is Google Drive. And download this right here. It's called Wallet Installer v V3. And I'm going to give you guys a link to this in the video description. So don't, not a huge deal. You just need to make sure you have it. Um, go ahead and install it. And install and this is actually going to install it so we're going to go open it up just so this is really really simple um, so basically what you got to do is come up here and choose your ROM and we have Jelly Bean Touch Wiz so we select that then choose your carrier we have Verizon so we select that and then and then you accelerate down there and then all we got to do is it's got a restore build prop but we're not going to restore it we're going to go ahead and do install wallet Installing wallet, please wait. Grants for super user permission. We grant it super user permission. And it should go ahead and install here. Basically choose your ROM, you choose your carrier, and you hit that. And I think it goes ahead and restarts right here. And you should have the Google Wallet application installed and good to go. If you need to restore your build prop, um, you can do that by using the same exact application we just used and it should go ahead and restore that and you'll be back to the way you were or like I said you make an Android backup always or go ahead and restore your Android backup and that'll do the same thing so it did do a little bit of an optimization there and um, starting up your applications so let's see if uh, Google Wallet got installed and alright we'll go in here and let's see what we got here it's still kind of warming up, so it's a little laggy right now. There it is. So uh, there's Google Wallet Installer. This is actually Wallet. And starting up, it may take up to five minutes. So it, it did install, and NFC is disabled, so it wants you to turn on NFC. And there we go. We'll go ahead and go back and let it let it finish up the startup procedure so that's it guys um, pretty simple this is really easy to use this application you just download the application install it like I say link in the video description down below that's it let the thing warm up and you should be good to go hey I uh, hope you guys like this video please check me out right up here at rootjunkie.com you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter over there love talking to you guys hope to hear from you more this was a video suggestion by one of my followers and hope he enjoys this and this was informative for him so that's it. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Here you go, guys. There you go. That's Google Wallet. So this is my little PS here also. Google Wallet has a couple updates there. And here's an email saying I activated Google Wallet. So it's actually installed. also installed an update. So there you go. Fully installed. Just wanted to show it to you. Thanks for watching.